Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Hey guys, this is Eric here from Bobby's World, and today I'm gonna try to get a coronavirus antibody test. For those who aren't familiar, the Antibody test is basically a test of if you've had coronavirus in the past. It doesn't tell you if you currently have it, but it's useful if you believe you've had it in the past. So then you'll know if you are immune to it and it just offers a little peace of mind in that regard. So I was sick in, I think it was like March and it was kind of an odd sickness. Symptoms didn't really agree 100% with coronavirus symptoms. Um, I didn't really have shortness of breath, but I did have kind of a cough and a sore throat. So I just wanted to get the test to see if I have had coronavirus. I'm going to show you all the steps that I'm going to take to um, try to get the test. Again, I, I'm going to start from square one and then uh, take it from there. Okay, let's bet on it then. So I vote that, I think that you don't have it, that you don't have antibodies and mm -hmm. that you have not had COVID. Okay, if I have had it, you have to buy me one can of Corona. <laughs> or one uh, bottle of Corona. Okay. If I don't have it, then what do I have to do? Then you have to do uh, 25 push-ups <laughs> without stopping. Okay. So basically what I'm gonna start with is square one. I'm just gonna Google, how do I get a coronavirus antibody test? Um, the results of the Google search were basically, there's a few tests, but I don't know if my insurance covers them. So right now I'm gonna call my insurance hotline and see if they can help me figure out, you know, what test I should get and how much it'll cost and stuff like that. So I'm gonna call them and I'll let you know what they say. Hello, I was wondering if you could give me some information on coronavirus antibody testing. Um, I was wondering if you guys cover those tests and um, which tests are covered. Okay, so I just called my insurance company. Um, I have Cigna through my work. It's a PPO. I was on hold for about 10 minutes and then I talked to somebody. They were pretty helpful. Um, they said that for my insurance plan, the tests for the antibody is covered 100% um, as long as it's an FDA approved test. So. At first when I was Googling some, there were some that showed up and I you know, did a little research on those. Um, there's one called like a LabCorp test um, and that one I guess is not FDA approved. So whatever the cost of that, um, you know, you'd have to pay it out of pocket. I'm not sure exactly how much it costs. It didn't really say, but I'm gonna try to you know, do the FDA approved one so that my insurance covers it and I don't have to pay as much. So they also said that I have to see a doctor first to um, refer me for that test. Um, again, this is the antibody test. I need a referral for that one. I believe the coronavirus swab test, the one that tells you if you currently have it, I believe that one might not need a referral, but I didn't ask about that. Yeah, so they did say I need to see a doctor first. So I need to have a doctor visit to get a referral and then the test, but the test itself is covered 100% um, through my insurance. So now I'm gonna call my doctor and see if he can refer me to get the test. You know, ideally I wouldn't have to do this, like, you know, two trips, one for the re referral and one for the test. So maybe he can do a teledoc appointment or maybe he can just give me the referral it's kind of up to his discretion, um, but I'm gonna call my doctor and see what he says. Hello, I was wondering if I could schedule an appointment with my doctor to get a referral to get the coronav coronavirus antibody test. Yeah, I was, I was sick um, a couple months ago, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure if that was the virus or not. Um, 
All right, um, thanks for your help then. So I just got off the phone with uh, my doctor's office. They said that um, they would get a hold of my doctor within about 24 hours to ask if he could either see me to give me a referral to get the test or write me a referral for the test. Hi, Veronica. Hi, just calling to let you know he ordered the antibody test for you. So you can stop by the lab and have that done. So I just got a call back from my doctor's office. Um, I only called like 10 minutes ago or something. So that was super quick. They said that he was able to give me the referral to get the antibody test. Um, so I just have to go to the lab that's connected to his office basically and get the test. And um, so I'll go do that. Hey guys, so I'm at my uh, doctor's office right now. I'm gonna get the test and I'll uh, let you know how it goes. All right, wish me luck. Hey guys, I just finished getting the test for the COVID antibodies. Uh, you can see I got a little prick in my arm, got my blood drawn. Um, they said they should have the results in a couple hours. So I will check back then and let you know what the results are. Um, it was pretty painless. I was waiting for maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, it was just a quick uh, prick in my arm and they filled up a little vial about this big and they sent it to the lab to get tested and then I'll get my results. Hey guys, so it's the day after I went to the doctor and I just checked the results of my test online and it turned out negative. So I don't have the coronavirus antibodies, which means that I probably never had coronavirus. So that means I lost the bet with Kat and now I have to do 25 push-ups. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this video helped you learn a little bit more about the process of getting the antibody test. If you were interested in getting it, um, I hope this showed you the process of how to do that. So the process was actually easier than I thought. Um, I thought it would be a bit more annoying, but it actually, for me, only took, you know, a couple calls and then a visit to get the blood work done and then it only took a couple days in total and with all the phone calls and visits and waiting and stuff, it only took probably a couple hours total of my time. Yeah, it was a lot easier than I expected. I thought, you know, it might be kind of confusing. I might not know where to go, but it was actually a lot easier. So Eric is going to drop down and give me 25. No stopping. Kitty's going to do it. Kitty's going to count. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my way. <laughs> okay, let's see what she does. This is how you get One. low. Two. Ten. This is how you get swole during the quarantine. You lose bets. Right, Kitty? Kitty's watching. 20. Woo. Good job. How do you feel? I feel defeated. 